Ethical podcasting is around your morals and values that you bring to your show. So we're going to just talk about these aspects. So as I said earlier, you have rights and responsibilities as a podcaster. You are technically a media outlet the moment you publish a podcast. So therefore, you need to consider some of the ethical considerations that go with podcasting. So the first thing that I would like you to consider is do no harm. When you create your episode, you want to create content that's not going to do harm. So you need to consider cultural sensitivities. Understand that you may be creating a podcast in a certain part of the world, but that does not mean that your podcast is not available in other parts of the world. So always take the approach, as I said earlier, is treat others as you would want to be treated. Avoid accusations using words like allegedly, particularly when it pertains to accusations that are in or before a court, then this becomes important. It doesn't make you exempt of defamatory comments. However, it does demonstrate to an audience that the individual is not being accused of definitively doing something. It is only alleged that they have done something, which is a completely different thing. You could also say words like has been accused of using that phrase can also let anyone consider that that may not be a true statement. So what you've got to do is make sure that if you're going to say something that's reported in a court of law, that it is a factual statement and where you are uncertain, you need to use words like allegedly. Now, if you're doing reviews on your podcast, then you can use the words in my opinion so that any reasonable person would be able to understand that your statements are not necessarily statements of fact, that they're based on your own experience and or knowledge. So it's almost like a personal disclaimer when you say in my opinion, but that also means that you cannot spread false information or misinformation. So be conscious that use of in my opinion is not actually a defense against spreading false information. Now on your podcast, it's also important to warn of sensitive topics, to prepare people to know whether the topic might be something that's likely to offend or may be mishandled or misinterpreted in some way. Now, again, these are not legal defenses, but they are approaches that may help you handle more difficult topics. What I would say is if you find yourself having to make a statement like this podcast may offend some listeners, then that might be a bit of a signal right there that you are crossing the line and that you are or may do harm. Now, the other disclaimers that you may use on your show is where your guests' opinions do not necessarily represent the opinions of your show or the host. So this is good if you know that someone on your program is likely to talk about contentious topics or your podcast, for that matter, talks about contentious topics that having this disclaimer at the head of the program allows people the opportunity to leave so that they're less likely to be offended. A good strategy to reduce the risk of defamation and other legal matters is to avoid gossip. So speak your knowledge, speak to your knowledge, not to hearsay. So if someone told you that someone did something and you don't know that to be true, but you're going to tell the world on your podcast that someone told you that someone did something, then it runs the risk that you could defame someone. So in your show, it is a good strategy to avoid gossiping about people, or even for that matter, mentioning individuals' names when people ask your opinion about a person. So avoid giving opinions of people who you do not know or situations that you have little knowledge or experience on. And a good way to respond to those sorts of discussions is to actually say that, say, I really don't know that individual or I really don't know that topic. So therefore I won't go into that. So it's a good way to navigate away from those topics. And also in post-production, you can always edit those conversations out, but you need to be conscious of those conversations when they're being had in the moment and also In post-production, you need to ask yourself, have you crossed any lines there? Have you done harm? Have you, you know, potentially defamed someone? Now, the other thing that I put in here for you to consider is brand considerations. I say be the voice you most want to hear in the world. Now, if you are associating your podcast with a brand, understand that should you cross a legal line or an ethical or moral line, 
then there's every chance that your brand will take a hit for that episode. So understand that the way the world works today, that any sort of media can go viral and it can get out of control very quickly, particularly if something's shared or taken out of context. So therefore understand that when you produce your episodes, if there is anything contentious in them or legal, that that could potentially blow up to something extremely big on the internet very quickly. And if your brand is associated with a mishap that occurs because you've said the wrong thing, it could actually damage your brand and or see your brand in legal hot water. So these are just some of the legal and ethical considerations I think you need to look at before you start your podcast, because a lot of podcasters fail to consider this stuff and they can actually get themselves into hot water. The other one that you will also need to consider is whether your podcast episodes actually use or have explicit words. So if people are swearing in your podcast episodes, a lot of podcast hosts will actually ask you to flag if there is any swearing in your episodes. Now, this might not really concern you as the podcaster if you do have some people who are loose with their language on your show. But understand that the moment you tick that box that says there's explicit lyrics, you are going to reduce your audience size because there are some people who choose not to listen to explicit language in their shows. So that's just something else to consider when you produce your show. Is it a show that's likely to contain some explicit language? And if it is, how will that affect your reach?